Hey again, it's time for more paint points. Today we're painting a character from the lovely 1960s British film, Whistle Down the Wind. Whistle is a quaint, quiet children's crime thriller featuring kittens and Jesus. Yeah, you heard that right. Filmed in the beautiful rural farm hills of Downham, England, the story centers on three siblings, Kathy, Nan, and Charles, who is the subject of today's painting. It's a cute kid. The trio of children rescue some kittens from a drowning, storing them away in a barn. It's in the barn that Kathy, a preteen girl, discovers a disheveled man hiding. When she discovers him and asks, who is it? The man says back only this. Jesus Christ. Thus, Kathy has discovered a life-changing secret. Jesus Christ, Lord of Lords, is hiding where the cows sleep. Didn't the minister and the Sunday school teacher say that Jesus is coming back? I guess he's here. Kathy reveals Jesus to her sister, Nan, and then accidentally to Charles, her brother. The three giggle at the possibilities. Three little people have the biggest adult on earth in their barn. Finally, all the stories in church are coming true. The secret stays pretty well secret until Charles admits he didn't tell everyone, just one or two people. Now the entire population of children in town know about Jesus, and they want to see him, wouldn't you? What will happen when the second coming of Christ is finally discovered by an adult, though? And why are the police seemingly already involved? Whistle Down the Wind is an exceptionally fun piece of film. The whole concept of Jesus hiding out in a barn while kids sneak him essentials like alcohol and cigarettes, it's, it's madcap. But it's treated seriously here. It's not a silly movie, but it has some silly elements in it. I think everyone had some moment in their childhood when they thought they knew something that no one else could, that no adult could understand, and it made you feel special for knowing it. I think that's the idea of this film, seeing how childish notions can either survive into or be destroyed on the path to adulthood. This is not just a movie for kids, though. It's, it's for anyone who has had to deal with growing up religious or around religion or around religious people and how you deal with rectifying the notion of this all-encompassing saving divinity with the often disappointing, unforgiving nature of reality. Does religion really save you from bad stuff? The film is asking this. It seems, in fact, keenly irreligious, which makes sense as humanists were a growing movement at the time in 1960s Britain, with many humanist figures appearing in media. Whistle Down the Wind is not flashy, it's not gaudy, but it is putting Christianity on the spot. And who better to question the truth of religion, any religion, than a pure, innocent child who has been let down for the first time seriously by the man high up in the hayloft. Pair this with some great child performances, a good soundtrack which you've been listening to, and an easy pace and you really have a great little piece of lesser known film for you to see. Sometimes in life your secrets aren't golden. The man in your mind is not the one that's out in the barn. But this movie may help ease the pain and, and questions you may have in its own quiet way. Enjoy. This art was by my artist, Kenya Kenya. I appreciate you watching it. This is Toy. Thanks.